Hi guys, welcome back to some more action on Football Manager with Notts County. This um, this isn't the uh, the update I was going to bring you um, at the end of the last one. I said I'd look to do an update after the um, uh, end of pre-season. But this is just a little update now. Just to quickly going to pop on to say, uh, so you can see here on the screen, uh, Notts County Board have placed a transfer embargo um, as a result of rumoured... Uh, uh, a possible takeover has been rumoured. Uh, I've, I've, there's some restrictions have been put in place, and unfortunately, uh, yeah, I cannot buy any players. So you may not see any new players by the time uh, we actually get pre-season over and done with. But we shall, uh, we shall have to see. But I just thought I'd show you this update and uh, be back with you uh, after pre-season. Well guys, it didn't take long and the takeover has been complete. As you can see there, local business man, local businessman David Redman has successfully completed his takeover of Notts County, succeeding former chairman Ray True. In a report, he, told, he said to be keen to get stuck in his new role as soon as possible. Personal message from David Redman. Your chairman David Redman has thanked you for your patience during what was doubted to be a stressful time for those involved in the club. Redmond is pleased to confirm that the board have managed to secure the club's immediate future by negotiating a deal to restructure the existing debt into a long-term loan. We can also see that um, he's, a net, he's the chairman's pleased to announce we've got, he's given me an extra 1.7 million in transfer budget, and the transfer embargo has been um, taken off. So we've uh, we've got a bit of good news there. I'll quickly move over and can show you. 1.66 million. We are now on 150,000 in wage budget. So, I mean, the some of the players we could pick up for that, I, I dread to think for a, for a championship side, we could we could start to get a really good team here. My only concern is I don't want to be paying too much out in wages because obviously it's only we may only we may not have this uh, wage budget for this season. But I'll quickly show you. Uh, the finances as well as you can see their balance is 1.6 million income season ticket sales are 375,000 um, salary commitments are, are okay we're not looking too bad financial fair play allowed loss of period 2 million current projected profit and loss is a profit of 1.3 million so we are we aren't looking too bad um this yeah we, last year we uh, we made made to make a profit of 900,000 being in the championship we should get more fixtures in um in terms of uh, obviously FA Cup hopefully we'll be because we're a better team we'll get further in the FA Cup further in the Capital One Cup and also the fact that we are in the championship hopefully we will have higher gate receipts and uh, higher attendances so that will hopefully sort us out so our wage budget in total is two hundred and seventy-four thousand per week, which is which is amazing. We're only spending one hundred and twenty-two thousand, so I don't really want to go above two hundred thousand if I can, because I'm just concerned as to what will happen next season in terms of the amount that we can bring in. So I may use the one point six million that's been made available to sign, say, two, maybe three players, half a million each, and just get some good quality players. I may look to get a decent keeper in and a decent centre back. Just build from the back. I may look at bringing in a uh, another striker to be honest as well. Um, we'll just have to see. There are a couple of players who are looking to to leave the club. Um, Lawrence uh, Vigoru has gone on loan to Swindon, and Fabian Spees has been bid put in for him from Bradford for him to go out on loan. So there are a couple of players where I may look to go out on loan. Um, Bajkowski is 28, so I may look to bring in another keeper. I look to bring in someone like Jack Butland, um, that type of player, um, a young keeper that's got some good experience. Whether I go to some, see if I can go to uh, to Scotland, see if I can buy Fraser Force to see how much he's uh, he's worth. A lot of you'll know. Um, um, obviously, the, uh, on FIFA, I've got the Dundee United series. I may look to see if I can bring in some of their young players. Uh, Gold, Dow, for a couple of a uh, couple of instances. See if I can bring them in. We can see what players are in Europe in strikers. See if I can bring in a decent striker from from Europe. I'm thinking with our current crop of stri strikers, Divayo is retiring this season. I know we have Gary Medine who is a good um, 
he's a good solid um, championship striker. Danny Haynes should do quite well in the championship. Lee Bard is going to be back up. So is uh, so Dwyer. Mm, not too sure. Coombs I'm trying to get rid of along with a couple of others. But guys, I'll be back with you at the end of pre-season where hopefully I'll have maybe one or two new signings, but we'll have to see. I'm not going to rush things. I'm going to take my time. Um, quickly, quickly, quickly show you fixtures. We've played one game and, and lost that to Ghent 1-0, but pre-season ends on the 26th of July, and I will be back straight after that game with an update, which then leaves a bit of time. We've then got a week before the start of the season. We've basically got a whole month to look to bring in players, so I'm not going to rush anything, and we'll just see what happens and take our time and see who we can bring in. But guys, I'll leave it there, and I'll be back with you after pre-season. Hi guys, welcome back to some more um, Football Manager with Notts County. Obviously, uh, you've just seen the news regarding the takeover. It's now time to show you how we got on in the pre-season games. And I let my uh, assistant take these, so I have a, a rattle through these pretty quickly. Um, the first game we played was uh, away at Exeter, and that was a one-all draw with Marco De Vaio getting our goal after the 69th minute. Uh, Tunkada had put uh, Exeter 1-0 up in the 50th minute. See there, it was Bajkowski, Dunbaya, Davy, Blake, Eckersley, Fotheringham, Richardson, Jenis, Ireland, Barnard and Hayes were the starting 11 for that game. We then went and played Barnett and got a 3-2 victory. Devaya with 1 and Dom Dwyer with 2. It was Bajkowski, Dunbaya, Smith, Blake, Eckersley, Jenis, Texaria, Ireland, Richardson, uh, Barnard and Haynes who started that game. We then went away and played MK Dons and lost that game 3-1. Lee Barnard scored for us, but it was Bajkowski, Dunbaya, Davey, Heinrich, Eckersley, Fotheringham, McEnough, uh, Potts, Richardson, Medine and Haynes who started that game. We then went and played Alteringham at home. It was a 2-1 win, so with both goals. It was Bajkowski, Ward, Smith, Blake, Eckersley, Edwards, Ireland, Jenis, uh, Lameras, Barnard and Dom Dwyer for that game and in the final game we played Man City and surprisingly got a 4-1 win. It was Bajkowski, Blake, Davy, Little, Sheehan, Edwards, Richardson, Texaria, uh, Lemeras, Medine and Dwyer. Goals from two from Sheehan, one from So, one from Haynes and Lewandowski scored. It was Hart, Kolarov, Varane, Company, Clichy, Navas, Fernandinho, Yaya Torre, Silva, Wolford, Bonnie now playing for Man City and uh, Lewandowski. Man City's bench had Pantillamon, Milner, Zeko, Gaston Ramirez is there. Jack Rodwell is still there. Fabio Barini is now there. So yeah, that game was a bit. It was a huge shock, and um, it was pitched for a TV game. We did get an extra ten thousand uh, pounds available for for that game. So that was a an interesting game, and um. Again, uh, Notts County produced one of the shocks of the day when they beat Man City 4-1 at Meadow Lane in front of uh, 14,500 fans. Like I said, I did not do anything with these games. All these games were done by the assistant. Um, so yeah, I really don't know what went on with that game. But one thing I will show you guys, I've changed tactics and I've gone to a, four, a straight 4-4-2. Four, four, I think the, the way we were playing with the 4-1-3-2, four, the four, we were... Obviously the midfield was okay, central midfield was okay, but I felt we were lacking out wide, and we do have some good players who can play out wide. We have Moyo and Lameras on the right. We have Edwards, we have So, we have Campbell Rice and Bell, who because you can play left and right, should we wish to uh, re-sign him. But we do have enough players who can play left and right. In the centre, we've got Fotheringham, who is actually listed. I'm going to move him to the under-21s, and I don't want him in the squad. Um, we've got Richardson. We've got Jermaine Jenis. We've we've got Stephen Ireland. We've got Bukhar. We've got Tex Elliott in the middle. We've got loads of players in the middle. Up front, we've got enough players to have two strikers, so it is looking like it's going to be a 4-4-2. Uh, a I think it's going to give us that stability. We're going to get a bit more um, in terms of just, I wouldn't say possession, because obviously possession, we, we were the, the way we were playing with the uh, the four one three and the mid central midfield, we were having a lot of play, a lot of play and a lot of possession in the central midfield, but I did feel as though our full-backs couldn't really get forward and were 
having to track back a lot obviously because there was no cover from the wingers whereas this time we do uh, we do have wingers so therefore that's what we need and that's what we're going to be able to use and it's how we're going to go forward um, in terms of transfers I can say we have had no transfers in since Edwards since the 1st of July but a few out, Vigoru has gone on loan, Spees has gone on loan and Carl Dixon have all gone on loan. I've uh, looked to bring in some players but unfortunately just I cannot seem to find any half decent players that I want to bring in. There are some players who uh, I, 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 have, I have been looking at. It's just unfortunate. See I've looked at Mayuka Dow, Ryan Shotton is on the transfer list and I did look at bringing him in but unfortunately he uh, it doesn't think think uh, we'll be able to pick him up. Lee Griffiths was another one I looked at, but unfortunately, um, he's gonna he's gonna want a lot of money. Dundee United are gonna want a lot of money, and it's just unfeasible. Colo Torres on the transfer list. I did look to bring him in from Liverpool, but he um, he's gone on loan to Bolton instead. I'm gonna move him from Jose Fonte was another one who's looking to bring him, and he's transfer listed, but. Uh, He's gone on loan to Sheffield, so he's gone on loan to Huddersfield instead. Um, I did look to bring in Milos Vekovic from Spurs. Tried to buy him, but they didn't want to sell him, so I looked for a loan deal, but he's gone to Bolton on loan instead. Jordan Ibby has gone on loan, and Zeki Fryers has gone on loan to Burnley. There were a few players. Um, I did potentially look at bringing Fraser Forter, like I said, like I said in the uh, previously, but. Um, he's valued at 3.4 million. It's just uh, too much for us. I am still looking for another keeper to bring in. Hopefully, I can bring in a uh, a decent um, a decent keeper. I've um, there is this guy potentially we could look to bring in this uh, Wilfred Wilfred uh, Captoum from the Barca B player. I was looking at him. Um, one thing that has happened as well. Um, is in the scouting we have now got a scout um and you know, Barry Whitbread started 20th of the 7th 2015 in Germany so we are now branching out and he has found one player this uh Chindu Ogbuke and he he looks really good Unfortunately for a striker, we potentially use him. He's finishing only seven. We don't really play with attacking mid right, so he's just not quite now what we need. But yeah, if it, we're now starting to expand, so I'm potentially going to look to bring in some a, a couple more scouts and have them go further afield. And now that we do have, um, we do have uh, more funds into the club. And a new chairman. I'm hoping we can expand our scouting pool. So that is one thing that I will be looking to do. But guys, I am going to leave it there. And if you uh, if you think can think of anyone who we should be looking to bring into the club, feel free. I am going to um, I'm going to play one match. I'm going to play the game against Crystal Palace and then I'll come back for the game against Scunthorpe and have that as the live come game in the next episode. That gives you guys a chance to to suggest any transfer targets it gives me a chance to look and try and bring some players in and it also gives us a bit of time before the end of the transfer window to try and look and bring some players in and if you guys have to, to see anyone and you think we should look to try and bring them in we'll look to do that but guys that's it for now from Notts County pretty positive so far good uh, a good pre-season I mean, uh, in terms of well, the results only lost two, won three, drawn one, lost two, and it was more the fact that the uh, te financial takeover has been done. We've got got a bit of money to spend. I have realtered the budget, and we do have two million in transfer budget and one hundred and forty thousand in wages to spend. So that is uh, pretty good. I can change it to be a bit more if I want to have less wage. Obviously, we only have one hundred and twenty thousand wage at the moment, so I can double it. So we've got 120,000 ways to spend. That gives us 3 million in terms of budget. But I'm keeping it as 2 million budget and 140,000 in wage. But it may be that I have to make it 3 million budget and drop the wage down. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to drop, make it 3 million in wage, drop that down, confirm that. That gives us 241,000 in wage. We're spending 121,000. So that gives us 120,000 for wages and 3 million in the transfer budget. Now that should 
be enough. We may want to start thinking about players for the future and the simple fact that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 players there whose contracts are up for renewal at the end of next season. Marco De Vallo, he is um, retiring, so there's 13 contracts remaining to renew. Jermaine Jenis, uh, Campbell Rice are two contracts we may not want to renew anyway because they're both in their 30s. Um, some of the other guys, um, Bucard is uh, the cutoff. Dom Dwyer, we may not to want may not want to renew his as he's not potentially progressing. Hayden Hollis is one I think, same as Davy, Dumbaya, Haynes. I think we will want to do them. Leacock is touch and go, but we'll have to have a look. We've got a few months to think about that. But guys, I will leave it there, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Cheers.